The Heat lead the Celtics 2-1, to one, and I've got your free NBA pick for game four of that series right here. Don't forget, next time you're on picksandparlays.net, use the promo code NFL15, and it'll save you 15% on anything in the entire site. Welcome to Picks and Parlays. My name is Allie Burns. I've got Craig Trapp on the line to tell us all about it. Craig, how's it going? How's your weekend treating you? It's been pretty good. We're finishing up here Sunday night. And of course, you got game four here. They got a little extra rest in, um, extra couple of days off. But uh, I'm excited. I mean, this series has been super exciting. Now, uh, of course, the Celtics battle back now down uh, just two to one. And if the Celtics get this win, now we have a real series again. Yes, yes, we do. Um, I So I'm showing the Celtics at minus two and a half. I think that's ticked to minus three since I did my notes. And the total at 210. Full transparency, I have a series future on the Heat to win the East. So I am just all over the Heat on this one. Where are you at? Well, yeah, I see this total. I, you know, I see these lines both at two and a half and three. And I do expect to see a ton of action on the Celtics here just because they looked so good in game three. And let's remember, they were up double digits both game one and two. Um, and I see the total set at two 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 ten, and uh, see some even two tens and a half in here in Vegas. So I expect the uh, you know you're going to see if anything it attend to the over uh, move up to the over because it was so high scoring in Game Three. Uh, but I I see what we saw last game was finally Brad Stevens figured out that zone. It helped. He got Gordon Hayward back, and that was a big key. He gave really the Celtics uh, some a big lift here, and and I think the Celtics do battle back to get this win here and. I'm a little nervous about that three number. Um, so I'm definitely going to be leaning towards the over here as the better play. I think the over is a better play. I just think when you look at these two teams, they don't, they're don't. they great defensive teams, but they're great on offense. They share the ball. They both shoot it very well from three, and they have a lot of different players that can score. So it's very tough to defend a team and stop them when you have so many different weapons on both of these teams. Yeah, I'm totally on this over as well. Um, Game one pushed, it was at 212, it, regulation ended at 106, 106, and that one went over, obviously, because of overtime. Game two went under, um, the total was at 208, and it came in at 207, so it was right on the nose, and then game three, the total was 209, and of course, it sailed into 233. So I think the over is a solid play here, and uh, I like the Heat as the side, as I said before. Well, I, I think the Heat could win this game, but the problem is, obviously, the Celtics are the desperate team. And, you know, when you're at that desperation right. level, that also, you know, comes into effect. And I had a big bet on uh, out here in Vegas on uh, the Celtics in game uh, three and, and cash. And I, I think if I was going to lay it, I would take the Celtics again. But I definitely think the better plays on the over because I think both these teams will get, um, you know, 107 to 108 plus. And that means too easy. Uh, that would mean the over here. So that's what I'm going to take. All right, there you have it. Craig and I both agree. Take the over in the Heat Celtics game four.